Hello everyone, welcome back to Surgery Made Simple. This is Manish, a surgery resident. And thank you for your response on my earlier video, Surgical Anatomy of Stomach. If you haven't watched that, please tap here. So today's video is on midgut rotation, which is a very important embryological concept, which many of us didn't understand during our uh, first MBBS days. So I will try to explain it in a very simple manner. And this will help you in your neat exam as well. So without any further ado, let's get into the topic. So we'll start with the primitive gut. We already know that primitive gut is divided into foregut, midgut and hindgut. So midgut is divided in, again cranially and caudally. From the cranial part, we'll be having distal duodenum, jejunum and proximal ileum. From the caudal part, we'll be getting distal ileum and colon up to the proximal two thirds. And the junction between the cranial end and caudal end will be the vitello intestinal duct. The remnant of vitello intestinal duct proximally will be Meckel's diverticulum. And if it is distally remnant, it is the raspberry tumor that is also known as the periumbilical nodule. Midgut rotation is divided into three phases. Phase 1 lasting between 0 to 5th week. Phase 2 5th to 10th week. Phase 3 10th to 11th week. Physiological herniation occurs at 5th week and by end of 10th week, this physiologically herniated contents re-enter into the abdominal cavity. So what is the purpose of midgut rotation? What are the advantages? The first advantage is widening of the mesentery and second will be intestinal lengthening. Third is the physiologically herniated component re-entry into the abdominal cavity. If it fails, it results in gastrochesis or omphalocele. And finally, is resolution of the lat span. Lat span is a band which connects the intestine to the abdominal wall and persistence of this lat span results in intestinal obstruction. The schematic representation of uh, the intestine the segment which is proximal to the supermesentric artery is pre-arterial is post-arterial. So we can confirm that the pre-arterial will be the small intestine and the post-arterial will be the large intestine. Cecal bird will be present in the post-arterial segment. And this content will emerge out through the umbilical opening. As we already know, midgut rotation is divided into three phases. Each phase is again having its own importance and in the first phase it is 90 degrees anti-clockwise, second phase again 90, deg 90 degree anti-clockwise, third also 90 degree anti-clockwise. But there is a difference between the first two and the last 90 degrees. First two will be in a vertical axis whereas the last 90 degrees will be in a horizontal axis. The rotation of uh, midgut uh, used to be understood in a very visual manner. So I will give you a small demo. Consider this as the pre arterial segment, this as the posterior arterial segment, and this as the cecal bud. Okay, now the physiological herniation occurs, and this is the presentation. By the end of phase 1, the 90 degrees anti clockwise rotation, the pre arterial segment will be on the right side, and the post arterial segment will be on the left side. This is the end result of phase 1. Similarly, in the second phase, there is another 90 degrees anticlockwise direction. This results in the cecum being the cecum will be in the midline. And the final 90 degrees rotation is a horizontal axis. So horizontal axis, the cecum enters the abdomen first compared to that of the post arterial segment. Sorry, the pre-arterial segment. The, the end product will be the cecum, the midline cecum reaches the subhepatic position and due to the differential posterior abdominal wall growth this subhepatic cecum will reach the right leg fossa this is the normal midgut rotation which gives an end result of the small intestine being overlapped by the large intestine and the right leg fossa will be having cecum along with the ic junction to summarize the entire midgut rotation, we, we need to know what is the axis of rotation. The rotational axis is based on the supermesentric artery and the total rotation is 270 degrees anti-clockwise. But the last 
except for the last third phase first two will be vertical axis and the last will be horizontal axis the total time period will be fifth to tenth week this is regarding midgut rotation hope you all understood this well and if you are having any doubts you can comment and please do like share and for more such videos please follow me on my insta sachin in scrubs and also subscribe to my youtube channel and for more live lectures please subscribe to my online classes surgery made simple thank you see you in my next video signing off